Hello, this is Cosmoquette, and in today's RainPy lesson, we will learn how to call labels. So, in the previous video, we uh, run into a problem. We increased Imani's sanity by 5. Her sanity is 100 at the beginning of the game. And I don't want the sanity to go over 100, and I don't want it to go lower than a 0. So, when we increased sanity by 5, we check if sanity is more than 100, then it will be 100, like this. But I don't like uh, this approach, because every time we increase or decrease sanity, we will need to add this condition and check the value of sanity variable every single time. So, if I remove uh, this condition, if I, I rem don't check the sanity variable, when my sanity uh, goes over 100, it will stay like this. We add 5 to 100 and my sanity is 105. So we can check if it's more than 100, then make sanity equals to 100. And now my sanity is 100 bytes, I don't like this. So what can we do? We can create a special label to manage our sanity. So let's go down here and create a label. Let's call it label uh, change sanity colon and let's not forget return. So how do we use this label to manage our sanity? We can use label parameters to do so and to add a parameter to a label we use parenthesis after the label name and we specify the name of the variable for our parameter let's call it amount and how do we use this label with this parameter let's go here where we increase sanity by 5 and we write call change sanity that's the name of our label and in parenthesis we specify the parameter so we want to change sanity increase it by five we just write five so what happens when we call the label when we say call label change sanity by five we specify five as our parameter and five will go into this special variable called amount that exists only in this label. So now in the label we can use this variable amount. So let's check this sanity change and in parenthesis in square brackets write amount. So we apologize and we see sanity change equals 5. If we go back and write 10 instead of uh, 5, then we will see sanity change 10. If we write minus 10, then we will see sanity change 10. And what will happen when I click here? Then we see the next line here. So you probably can guess what calling a label does and how is it different from jumping to a label. When we use jump and specify the label, we will go to this label and when we get to return, the game will end. But when we call a label, we write call, then label's name, we go to this label and when we get to return, we will get back to our call line and the game will continue after the calling. So you can call a label and after this label ends, we will get back to our script. So let's actually write the code to change sanity in this, verb, in this label. So now we see that the number in parentheses goes to this variable. So we can just write dollar sign sanity 
plus equals amount. That means we will add the number in this uh, variable amount to a sanity variable. And of course, we can check if sanity is more than 100, then make it equals to 100. Sanity equals to 100. And we can check also else if sanity l if sanity is lower than a zero then sanity is equals to a zero so now when we call this label change sanity this label will change the sanity variable value and it will at the same time check if this variable value is between zero and 100 so now the sanity will never go over 100 and it will never go under a zero. So now when we call this label change sanity 5, it will never go over 100. Talk to him, apologize and refuse and your sanity is 100. And the best part of calling labels is that we can use this label over and over again in any part of our game. So here sanity decreases by 5. Instead of uh, just simply decreasing the variable, we call the change sanity label and give it the parameter minus 5. And here sanity will be decreased by 5 and we will check if it's between 0 and 100. So now, as you can see, we write these checks only once in this change sanity label, and we only need one line to change this variable and to, to check its value. So this is how you use variable parameters, and this is how you call labels instead of just jumping to them. You will return to your game and continue it as usual. And we can improve this uh, code a little bit more. We can uh, add a notification to a player so a player will uh, see what's going on in the game. And to add a notification we use a special command dollar sign ranpy. It's just called notify. And in quotes, we write the text of the notification. Let's start with a simple text. Your sanity um, changed. Just to see how the runpy notification works. Go to choice. And when we uh, click on any choice, we will see notification in upper left corner. Your sanity changed. But uh, I don't want to just say that the player's sanity changed because I want to specify uh, how much the sanity changed. And let's just try uh, to do this. Your sanity changed by space and let's try plus amount. So I tried to write your sanity changed by 5 if uh, amount is 5 or by minus 5 if it's a minus 5 but we cannot do this like this because we will get an error can only concatenate str not int to str and is and this is the same error as in a previous video we have a number in amount variable and uh, this is a text a string so to um, add a text to another text, we need to turn this number into a string, into a text variable. And there is a special command in Python for this called str. We, call, we write str and in parentheses the name of the variable, amount. So now the number in the variable amount will be changed into a string and after that we can add two strings together 
Let's see how it looks. Given the item, your sanity changed by minus 5. And if we do not give him the us item, your sanity changed by 5. So now this notification works. It will stay for a few seconds and just disappear. But I don't like this your sanity changed by Lila. Let's uh, add one more condition. If amount is more than zero, we will write sanity plus and a string amount. So if as uh, if amount is a positive number, we will get sanity plus five, for instance, and else we will notify player that sanity is minus the amount. So if it's the simple as that, we have two different notifications for positive and negative sanity. So here, when we give the item to Maurice, sanity minus five. Oh, actually, I don't need this minus because uh, the number is negative already. Just like this, just like this, sanity minus five. And so now when we give him the item, sanity will be minus five because we don't need the minus sign. And if we, we refuse, then sanity plus five. Now this is very very cool and now we can call this change sanity label any time in our game and we will get a nice notification and the sanity variable will be in this range all the time throughout the game. We will not need to worry about it. So this works absolutely great and uh, as you can see we have three variables here sanity, favor and Maurice trust and to work with different variables we can of course uh, create other labels change Maurice trust and change favor and uh, every uh, label will manage its own variable or we can rework this label uh, and make it work with any variable we have. So instead of just change sanity, let's name this uh, label change parameter or just change stat. We'll change our stats with this label, with this uh, label. And we can use more than one parameter in our label. So let's add another parameter, call it uh, stat, then comma, and after comma, the amount parameter. We have three variables, so the stat could be sanity, favor, or Maurice trust. Just write another condition if stat equals to sanity. And then we will put all this code into this condition. So how we call this label now. So instead of change sanity, we write change stat. And as now we have two parameters, we write sanity in parentheses, comma and and then how much sanity will change. Let's do this in this line too. Call change stat. First parameter is sanity. Second parameter is the amount the sanity will change. So now this will work just uh, the same way as before. Sanity plus five, your sanity is 100, nothing changed, but we can add more conditions here to work with different variables l if so if the stat is not sanity uh, we can uh, try the different stat if stat equals favor 
and just we can copy this code paste it here and instead of sanity we write favor and here instead of sanity variable we check favor variable and now L if stat equals to uh, Maurice trust we do absolutely the same just copy this code paste it here trust in just just call it trust and here we change Maurice trust variable we don't uh, even have to notify about a Maurice trust uh, amount let's uh, make this a secret so we can change Maurice trust variable but we will not show this to our player but we will show our player sanity and favor changing uh, notification so let's go to the beginning of the game and uh, instead of just Maurice trust plus five we call change stat ver a label what stat will we change it's Maurice trust and we will increase it by five and we don't need this line anymore and here Maurice trust plus 10 call change stat Maurice trust by 10 here where, where we increase favor call change stat favor by 10 and of course uh, when we change both variables at the same time we will see only one notification we'll just see uh, the last one because uh, there is only one not notification screen in RenPy and uh, when we notify sanity and favor at the same time we will see only sanity notification but it's not a big problem for now so now when we give the item sanity minus 5 when we apologize we see sanity plus 5 we do not see favor plus 10 because the sentinel notification overrides favor and if you want you can uh, improve upon this uh, label so you can add more parameters uh, to it so it can change sanity and favor at the same time and when we change uh, two parameters at the same time then you can uh, notify a player about both of them in one notification but I will not do this right now I think it works okay so I will leave label change stat as it is right now and that is all for today so now you know how to call labels and add parameters to them and use the same label multiple times in your game without interrupting the flow of your game I think this is very very useful thing that's all for today that was Cosmocat and till the next time